If you're going to look up at the eclipse, you have to protect your eyes. Have to, but what you might not have heard yet is that your camera needs to be protected too, whether it's an expensive lens or the one on your phone. I visited a Fayetteville camera store to find out the easy and inexpensive ways you can cover them. While the hype around the total solar eclipse has been building for months, Bedford Camera and Video in Fayetteville has been preparing for much longer. For the last like year and a half to two years, we've been sort of on track to get ready for it. District Manager Aaron Dotson says customers with a wide range of photography skills have been coming in to protect their investments. You don't want to have your camera pointed at the sun before putting a filter on it regardless. You can remove the filter during that time of totality um, just because the sun will be blocked by the moon. But other than that, don't leave it pointing up at the sun uncovered. If you do buy one of these covers, this is how dark your lens is going to look when you're outside on a sunny day. But when the eclipse begins, it's absolutely essential for shooting it. So basically, you're going to measure out where the lens is going to fit and the wedges will go in and you cut them to fit so it's a snug fit around the end element or the end part of that lens. You apply the adhesive backing onto that, make sure there's none sticking out so it doesn't get in the way, and you fit it in there after you've cut it so that way when you're pointing your camera up, you've got coverage and the wind's not going to blow it off. You can also use these Mylar filters made to hold up against a phone's camera. And if you don't protect your lens, you could fry it. The lens works like a magnifying glass. And so with the sun directed down in, it could make its way through the lens into the camera and cause damage to your image sensor. And if it's a DSLR, it could ruin the mirror, the curtains, anything that finds its way in there, it's going to pinpoint that and basically burn up and render your camera useless. But most importantly, protect what you can't replace, your eyes. According to NASA, if you're watching the total solar eclipse through your camera, having the Mylar filter on your lens is critical.